Ronnie Barker was a widely revered and respected British actor and comedian whose prolific career spanned several decades and left an indelible mark on the world of entertainment. In this video, we'll take a look at his life and career, as well as his final days and his passing. Join Facts First UK as we present all we know about Ronnie Barker's cause of death and his final days. Early Life Ronnie Barker was born September 25, 1929 in Bedford, England. He grew up in a family that nurtured his early interests in acting and the performing arts. He was born Ronald William George Barker to Leonard and Edith Barker. His passion for acting was evident during his school years, where he was actively involved in school productions and amateur theater. Despite facing the trials of the Second World War during his formative years, Barker's family and school environment fostered his creative talents. His career in entertainment began with his involvement in amateur dramatics, which led to his first professional engagement at the Oxford Playhouse in the late 40s. He performed in various plays, honing his craft and gaining valuable experience in live theater. In the 1950s, he transitioned to radio, where he started to make appearances in various comedy shows. His work on radio helped him establish a foothold in the world of professional entertainment, showcasing his versatile voice and impeccable timing. His breakthrough in television came when he was cast in The Frost Report in the 1960s, a pivotal platform that introduced him to a wider audience and allowed him to showcase his diverse range of comedic characters and sketches. It was on The Frost Report that he first collaborated with Ronnie Corbett, marking the inception of one of the most iconic partnerships in British comedy. Career Highlights Ronnie Barker's career was filled with numerous highlights showcasing his immense versatility and unparalleled comedic talent. Of course, there was the Frost Report. His first appearance there marked a turning point in his career. It not only allowed him to exhibit his diverse range of comedic characters, but also, as we pointed out, was the place he was introduced to Ronnie Corbett. Porridge Barker started in the critically acclaimed British sitcom Porridge, where he played the role of Norman Stanley Fletcher an inmate serving time at the fictional Slade prison. Barker's portrayal of Fletch was universally lauded, and his performance is considered one of the greatest in British sitcom history. The show's wit and humor, coupled with Barker's impeccable acting, have ensured its status as a timeless classic. Open All Hours In Open All Hours, Barker played the stammering shopkeeper Albert Arkwright alongside David Jason. The show was immensely successful, and celebrated for its clever writing and the strong performances of its lead actors. Barker's portrayal of Arkwright is considered one of his finest performances, displaying his ability to infuse depth and nuance into comedic characters. Going Straight Going Straight was a sequel to Porridge, where Barker reprised his role as Norman Stanley Fletcher, now trying to navigate life outside prison. The series was well received and won the BAFTA Award for Best Situation Comedy in 1978. The Two Ronnies Perhaps Ronnie's most enduring and famous work was The Two Ronnies. It was a British sketch comedy show featuring Barker and Ronnie Corbett. The show ran from 1971 to 1987 and is widely regarded as one of the finest examples of British television comedy. It remains a beloved classic, showcasing the immense talents and chemistry between Barker and Corbett. The Two Ronnies was created by Bill Cotton and broadcast on the BBC. The name derived from the two stars, both named Ronnie. The format was a mix of sketches, musical numbers, and solo sections, with each episode typically featuring a mixture of quick one-liners, elaborate sketches, and musical performances. Each episode began with both Ronnies appearing behind a news desk, presenting humorous news items, and ended with them signing off with their famous catchphrase, It's good night from me, and it's good night from him. The duo's impeccable timing and on-screen chemistry were evident from these opening and closing segments, setting the tone for the entire show. The sketches in The Two Ronnies were known for their clever writing, wit, and inventiveness. They often played with language and featured elaborate wordplay puns and double entendres, a testament to Barker's love for the English language and to literature. Barker and Corbett portrayed a wide array of characters, from shopkeepers to medieval jesters, displaying their versatility. Barker was especially noted for his ability to adopt different accents and personas, while Corbett excelled in delivering long, rambling, yet highly amusing monologues. The musical numbers in the show were elaborate and often included guest musicians. 
These segments provided a refreshing change of pace within the episodes and showcased the diverse talents of the two Ronnies. The show's appeal has endured, and it continues to be celebrated as a high point in British television comedy. The timeless humor, ingenious writing, and undeniable chemistry between Barker and Corbett have ensured the show's place in the annals of comedy history. After years of retirement, Barker and Corbett reunited for the two Ronnies sketchbook in 2005, a series consisting of their classic sketches and new material. The series allowed fans to relive the golden moments from the original show and introduce their timeless humor to a new generation of viewers. The two Ronnies had a profound impact on British comedy, setting a high standard for the shows that followed. It's remembered not just for its humor, but also its warmth, charm, and the incomparable duo of Barker and Corbett. Final Years and Death After an illustrious career in entertainment, Ronnie Barker decided to retire in the late 1980s, stepping back from the public eye and the relentless pace of show business. He and his wife, Joy, relocated to Dean, Oxfordshire, where he ran an antique shop called The Emporium, enjoying a quieter life away from the limelight. However, in 2004, Barker made that brief return to television for the two Ronnie's sketchbook. In his later years, Ronnie Barker's health began to decline. He suffered from heart problems and was diagnosed with a heart condition. Despite his health issues, he continued to maintain a relatively active lifestyle, enjoying his retirement and staying engaged with his interests. Barker passed away October 3, 2005, at age 76. He died of heart failure at his home in Atterbury, surrounded by his family. His death marked the end of an era in British comedy, and he was mourned by fans, peers, and colleagues alike. Tributes poured in from across the entertainment industry, celebrating his incredible contribution to comedy and television. Ronnie's final years were marked by a mix of quiet retirement and brief celebrated returns to the screen while he privately battled health issues, leaving behind a rich legacy in comedy. His career was characterized by his versatile comedic talent, innovative character creations, and the ability to create humor that resonated with audiences of all ages. His collaborations with fellow artists and his immense contribution to British comedy have left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. His body of work continues to be celebrated and revered, showcasing the timeless appeal of his humor and the enduring impact of his legacy in comedy. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite memory of Ronnie Barker? Let us know in the comments section below.